assalamu alaikum i am dr sayed ali madan azmi welcome to my channel in this lecture we will discuss how we can evaluate area of a given region with the help of double integrals for this purpose we will learn exercise 15.3 question number 3 the statement of problem in exercise 15.3 from thomas calculus 12th edition book is sketch the region bounded by the given line and curve then express the region area as an iterative double integral and evaluate the integral in order to sketch the region the boundaries are parabola x is equal to minus y square and the line y is equal to x plus 2 in order to solve this problem and in order to learn this concept we must know what is the formula for area of a given region in the form of double integrals this is the formula area of a given region is equal to double integral over the region r da so in order to plot the region first of all we must know what is this parabola look like x is equal to minus y square this parabola x is equal to minus y square is open leftward and is symmetric about x axis the line y is equal to x plus 2 is a general line this line passes through points minus 2 0 0 2 1 3 you can evaluate these points or and many more points by substituting different value of x in this equation and then evaluating the value of y for example if you substitute minus 2 here in place of x you will get y equal to 0 if you put x equal to 0 you will get y is equal to if you put x equal to 1 you will get y equal to 3 in order to plot a straight line we need at least two ordered pairs or points in the coordinate plane now This is the graph of parabola x is equal to minus y square. In order to plot this graph, please note that I have marked x axis and y axis. I have marked x axis and y axis with dotted line because x axis and y axis are not involved in my boundaries. So, next we will plot the straight line. Y is equal to x plus two. This straight line passes through the point. Look here, minus two zero. When x equal to minus two, y is zero. When x equal to zero, y is two. Similarly, you can mark more points. I have joined these two points and then extend this line, so I will get this region of integration. Now, whenever you have to calculate area for a given region, you must know. the equation of boundaries and the points of intersection now in the next step we will calculate these two points and this point this point and this point these points will be calculated with the help of given equations we will solve the equation simultaneously like this we can say x is equal to minus y square is our equation number 1 and y is equal to x plus 2 is our equation number 2 then substituting the value of x from equation number 1 in equation number 2 we have y is equal to minus y square plus 2 if you substitute this value minus y square here you will get y is equal to minus y square plus 2 shifting this equation into standard form we get y square Plus y minus two. I have shifted these two terms minus y square plus two on the other side. In the next step, I have factorized it. The coefficient of y square is one. I have multiplied with two, so I get minus two. And then the factors of minus two will be plus two and minus one. We will make these factors in such a way that after addition we will get the central value, and after multiplication we will get the term minus two, which is the product of coefficient of y square and constant term minus 2 so the factors will be y square plus 2y minus y minus 2 in the next step we will take y common in the first two terms we get y plus 2 and the other two terms we will get minus 1 common in the next step we can take y plus 2 common from here we have two factors y plus 2 into y minus 1 equal to 0 we know that if the product of two terms is equal to 0 If the product of two terms equal to zero, either first equal to zero or second equal to zero, so from here we can get the value of y as y is equal to minus two and y is equal to one. Now, using these values in equation number one, we can calculate the value of x. So from here, 
we have the ordered pairs. This ordered pair has minus one, one, and second ordered pair here as minus four, minus two. So after this, we have calculated the points of intersection in the given region for the straight line and the parabola. In the next step, we will apply the formula for area over this double integral. Please note that the formula for area is area for integral, double integral over the region R dA is equal to dx dy or dy dx means we have two cases. Either we can take x as our inner variable and y outer or we can take y inner and x outer. Now look at this region. If in this region I will use vertical arrow then I have a problem because if you pass the vertical arrow from the left side of this point minus one one you will have different limits and if you pass a vertical arrow from the right side of this point minus one one you will have different limits. So taking inner variable y is not suitable for this region. So we have to shift ourselves for inner variable as x. Now you can see if we pass horizontal arrow to this region either from above the x-axis or below the x-axis. We don't have such issues. Our lower limit upper limit remains same. Look once again. If we pass the horizontal arrow means if we take x as our inner axis then we don't have any such issues. You may pass arrow from the above portion or lower portion. In both cases your upper and limit upper limit and lower limit remain same. So from here, as we have selected x as our inner variable, so the limits of x are from this boundary, the value of x will be y minus 2. So your lower limit will be y minus 2. And from this boundary, the value of x is minus y square. So your upper limit for x is minus y square. Now for outer variable y, we will always check the range of the region along that particular axis. Along y axis, our region starts from this point minus 2 here, and our region ends at 1 for y equal to 1. So the limits of y will be minus 2 to 1. In the next step, we will solve the inner integral, the integration of dx is x for the given limits. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. After applying the limits, we have minus y squared minus y plus 2. For the limits minus 2 to 1, dy. So in the next step, we will integrate it. The integration of y squared is y cube over 3. Integration of y is y squared over 2. And the integration of 2 is 2y. From the basic formula of integration, in the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. So we have replaced y with 1 in the upper limit and we have replaced y with 2 in the lower limit. So upper limit minus lower limit. After simplification, we will get our result as 9 over 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will like this video. Please like and subscribe my channel. If you like this video and also recommend my channel to your peers, Allah.